the dye on the hair. Again, it said that for gray resistant hair, keep it on for 30 minutes. You read the back of your box, or I'm sorry, the instructions in the box to see how long you leave your dye on. So let me, um, we'll leave it on for 30 minutes. We'll get it all rinsed out and then we'll come back with the end results. And hopefully that helps you um, be able to put dye in your hair. Um, and dye is very um, good for your hair as long as you don't be bleaching it and doing all that extra stuff. Cause my mom's hair is 100% natural as well as healthy. And she do it probably about how often might you do this? It depends on when it starts turning gray. I usually just like once a month. Okay, so once a month. Take care. Okay, we finished with the dyeing. Um, I know that it's really dark and y'all probably can't see, but it came out really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some conditioner on it. I'm gonna put her under a hair steamer and I'm gonna take pictures so you can be able to see how it came out. It came out lovely, no gray, no nothing. So you most definitely wanna try that product that we was telling you about. Uh, so let me get all the conditioner on, get her under the steamer, and I'll be back. The, the conditioner that I'm using, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to um, interrupt you, but the conditioner I'll be using is again called Nunat Treatment uh, for Curly Hair. I love this conditioner. You want to check it out um, on Google or you can try your local beauty supply store. And just wanted to tell you real quick what type of conditioner I was using. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm also using the conditioner that came inside of the box. Um, the Revlon Color Silk Conditioner that came inside of the box. So make sure you use that also. I'll be putting that on first and then I'll put the other conditioner on too. So just in case, you know, I like to use everything that comes in the box. Okay, now that I have my client. Yes, my mom, I said she wasn't my client, but she is. I have my client up under the uh, steamer. She'll be sitting under the steamer for about 30 minutes. And then after that, we'll go ahead and moisturize her hair. She'll let it air dry, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. What I'm going to do again, like I said at the end, I'm going to supply you with pictures of the end result, okay?